I uh, have been the principal here for, this would be my going into my fourth year, uh, but I started in 2009, when, uh, which was the first year the school opened as an assistant principal, so I have been here from, uh, from the beginning. You know, we all go, go into, into teaching or into education, you know, for kids and wanting to help kids, but she really uh, brought home the importance uh, of working with, uh, with young people, and uh, she was an inspiration, I would say, because she was always upbeat, always positive, always wanting to do what was best. The first time that I met Taylor, she already had been diagnosed, so I only ever knew her as um, someone who had cancer. But how she lived her everyday life, you wouldn't know. She was an athlete and um, a leader on campus and involved in a million things and always going a mile a minute. She's fearless. She cared about how the school was developed and she had a vision for where she wanted to go with it. She's taught me to be limitless in my imagination for what can be done here at school. It was in June, so um, she had gone to basketball camp and couldn't sit up the next morning. And so that was really how we figured out there was something wrong. Upon her diagnosis, we ended up going to Stanford because the Sacramento docs said, you know, we're not really sure how to handle a pediatric case of ovarian cancer because it is rare. She went through five years of essentially operations and chemotherapy treatments. Taylor was involved in um, Future Farmers of America, uh, played competitive soccer, involved in leadership, and the cancer was spreading. She um, ultimately went back into the hospital in May of 2011. And at that time, the doctors had told us that there was nothing more that they could do. Um, the cancer had spread and that they really didn't know how much time she had left. Um, so she passed in the hospital on August 8th of 2011. Um, when I heard Taylor had passed away, I was, um, of course, so sad. I, I knew that um, it was a possibility at, in the near future because I had visited her multiple times in the hospital. In this case, it, it was, you know, it was something that uh, everyone hoped wouldn't happen, but knew that, you know, that might because of the the, uh, the cancer. My biggest reaction when I found out Taylor had passed away was um, deep loss. Something that I miss about Taylor is that people gravitated towards her naturally, that she had a kindness to her, and she had a drive that made people want to be around her. Taylor's influenced me and everyone around us by just showing us how to live life. She was kind and motivated and positively influenced people. The influence that she set at the school, and especially in the agriculture and FFA program, that we do as a result of Taylor's vision and excitement and love. She was a huge asset to this community, to this school, to her peers, and to me. She helped me grow as a teacher, and she helped her peers grow as leaders.